Hello everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book Grant and Tilly Go Walking. This is by Monica Culling and it's illustrated by Sydney Smith. So looking at the cover of our book, it looks like this story takes place in farmland. Now Grant Wood is actually a very famous artist and you might even recognize one of his paintings. It turns up in our story today. So this is not necessarily a true story, but it's about a real life artist. Let's open up our books and begin. Grant Wood was walking down the road with Tilly. The brown Swiss cow had a face as sweet as sunrise and a smile as gentle as the nearby rolling hills. Once in a while, Tilly stopped to graze on tufts of grass. She was a happy cow. Grant Wood was not happy. He gazed at the hills, winding roads, and fields of corn and wheat. He longed for more excitement. Tilly was born on the farm. She had never thought of living any place else. At milking time, Tilly gave Grant gallons of frothy goodness. They say that cows with names give more milk, and Tilly gave all she had, morning and night. So you see Grant with a bucket there milking the cow. Grant was born on the farm too, but deep down he knew he did not want to be a farmer. Grant wanted to be an artist. He drew what he saw, Barns, barrows, chickens, and cows. Relaxing under an apple tree, Tilly felt the sun warm her sleek brown back. She picked up an apple and dropped it into Grant's open palm. What a cow! Grant chewed the apple while Tilly chewed her cud. I'm leaving for Paris tomorrow, Miss Tilly, Grant said. I want to paint like the French artists do. Tilly's brows furrowed. She didn't like the sound of that. It was the summer of 1920. The city of Paris was lit up like fireworks. No wonder they call it the city of lights, exclaimed Marvin, Grant's friend and fellow painter. There was a tower that looked like an iron bridge to the sky. It was named after the man who built it, Eiffel. Taurus took an elevator to the top of the tower to get a bird's eye view. From up high, Paris looked like a sparkling diamond necklace. In Paris, Grant wore city clothes instead of overalls. He wore a French cap called a beret and grew a beard. He stayed up late in cafes, drinking and talking with the other artists. If the folks in Iowa could see him now, they wouldn't recognize him. He barely recognized himself. Back on the farm, Tilly stood at the bottom of the pasture, bellowing a mournful moo. It was milking time, but Tilly's heart wasn't in it. Poor Tilly wasn't giving gallons of milk anymore. One or two pints were all she could muster. Grant's mother tried to cheer her up by making Tilly's favorite oatmeal mush. Tilly sniffed it, but couldn't eat one bite. Tilly probably misses her friend, right? Grant and Marvin painted outdoors. They attacked their canvases with brushes and palette knives. Their lines were bold and bright, and their paintings unlike anything they had painted before. Marvin's paintings sold quickly, but people took one look at Grant's and shook their heads or laughed out loud. So it can be hard sometimes to be successful as an artist. Tilly no longer went walking. Grant's mother didn't think you needed to walk a cow. Go on, Miss Tilly, she'd say each morning, giving the cow a soft slap on the backside. Get some exercise. But Tilly didn't know which paths to take without Grant. She just stood there and looked down the road. 
Grant looked different, but inside he was still a shy, quiet man and a slow painter. You need to pick up your pace, encouraged Marvin. Marvin often finished a painting in the morning and sold it in the afternoon. Sometimes the paint was even a bit damp. But it wasn't Grant's way to rush a painting. One day, a woman stopped to look at Grant's work. What is it? she asked in French. Grant's French wasn't the best, but he knew the word for cow. Une vache, he replied. The woman left, shaking her head and chuckling. The painting didn't look much like a cow at all. Hmm. So you see Grant, his beret is on the ground. His vash in vash is on the canvas. His paint palette is there. You see the Eiffel Tower in the back. And Tilly is on the farm, alone, looking at the winding roads and the rolling hills. Tilly was getting thin. She gave little milk now. What can we do? Grant's mother asked in despair. Grant's sister, Nan, sadly shook her head. She had no idea. Grant had a dream, so he's sleeping one night. In it, the fields and farms of Iowa glowed in the sun and Grant walked the country roads with Tilly. How he missed that cow. Grant woke up from his dream knowing he was going to head home. Heading westward on a train, the farms and fields outside his window made his heart sing. So he's heading back by train. When Tilly saw Grant, she galloped across the field, bawling as she ran. Moo! Moo to you, Miss Tilly, said Grant, hugging the gentle cow's neck. I'm home. One morning, Grant was walking down the road with Tilly. They stopped at a white farmhouse with an arched window. Suddenly, Grant had an inspiration. The next day, he asked Nan, remember that's his sister, and the family's dentist to pose for him in front of the window. The dentist held a pitchfork. No one smiled. Grant took all the time he needed to make the painting. He wanted to show the world the place he loved and the people he knew best. When he was finished, he was happy. And when Grant was happy, Tilly was happy too. And that right there is the painting. It's a very famous painting. This is called American Gothic. And this painting went on to an exhibit in 1930. It won a prize and our artists, because you this is a real artist, Grant Wood. This is how he rose to instant fame. So at the back of the book, there's an author's note. And this tells us a little bit more of Grant Wood's story. So Grant Wood, he was born in Iowa, where most of the story takes place. And as an artist, he thought he had to go to Europe to live in Paris to learn from the masters of art. But as we saw in Paris, sometimes he had a hard time. Maybe people didn't understand what he was making. And then when he returned, he decided to return to America and return to the farmland. He could paint about things that he cared about. So that's where he painted the painting you see in the book, American Gothic. And that was his greatest achievement. So there's an author's note that you can read through at home if you have this book at home or if you're borrowing it from the library. I hope you enjoyed this story. This is called Grant and Tilly Go Walking. This was written by Monica Culling and it was illustrated by Sydney Smith. Thank you so much for reading along with me.